Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? I'm happy to help. Uh, tell me, is there anything I can do to lighten your load a bit? Oh, surely there must be something. Uh, don't be shy about asking for help. We're practically siblings, after all. Cut from the same cloth. I was raised by Gerald just as you were, so we should have no trouble getting along. <laughs> well, I'll confess, there is a considerable age gap between us. My parents died when I was small, and I came to live in the monastery. It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. That knight was Geralt. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? No kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. A little nutty, old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. How time flies. That's right. I wasn't even 15 years old. Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me a... <laughs> Perhaps that's a story for another day. At any rate, that's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. But truly, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. 
If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Professor, a bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Question, Professor? Wow. 
Professor. You look unwell. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Don't speak of it aloud. You can't change the past. For now, all we can do is use it to our advantage. I know that. I also know that I must steel myself to ascend the Imperial Throne. Those preparations are going well. We... Uh, someone is coming. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. Something terrible is happening in Ramire Village. That's where you were when fate sent you our way. This feels... preordained. Are the Knights making progress with their investigation? If what is happening there is by design, there must be someone pulling the strings. There is the Death Knight, of course, and the mysterious mages who were implicated with the Western Church. They showed up when Flane was kidnapped as well, and now there is another strange occurrence near the monastery. It seems an unknown organization hopes to make the monastery its stage for something. Do you believe that all these incidents are connected, Professor? Oh, I'm surprised to hear you say that. But actually, I agree. It certainly appears that all of the events surrounding the monastery are connected by a single thread. However, I think it's possible that it may just be a result of different motives overlapping. Remember, Professor. If you think of people as simply enemies or allies, it may be impossible to grasp the truth. I am happy that you invited me, even though it interferes with my nap time. Much appreciated. Warms me up. Agree. I disagree. I see. Agreed. That was delicious. It feels good to relax. Well, I'm off to catch a nap. I am ready to begin. Oh no. This is impossible. We did it! I'm finding my focus.
will protect. Ready for you. Great. Coming from the training area. What could it be? You have met your match, Rust. Ah, so stubborn. Good day to you, Ferdinand. You smell amazing. That is you I am smelling, is it not? Ah, Flane, hello. Are you referring to the smell of this oil? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that is the smell, all right. I am simply doing some armor maintenance. A little oil keeps the rust at bay, ensuring that the armor moves smoothly, without any hitches. I see. I thought maybe you were doing some cooking. You smell a bit like food. <laughs> but I suppose that is the oil tricking my nose. <laughs> I would not cook in the training area. Are you hungry by chance? Not really, no. But is that oil not also used for cooking? For things like frying meat or drizzling over a nice crisp salad? Things of that nature? Were I to coat my armor in oil that smells of food, I would be distracted by hunger at all times. I doubt that amidst actual fighting, the smell would still make you hungry. When you are in the thick of it, you devote all your focus and energy to the fight. There is no time to feel peckish. I suppose you're right. And actually, all of this talk of delicious oil has made me hungry. <laughs> in that case, I will accompany you to the dining hall. I will be finished in a couple of minutes. I must apologize, Ferdinand, but I cannot wait even a moment for you. I am famished! I shall be in the dining hall, getting my fill of fried goodies. Well, that was quick. Hmm. I will admit, now that she has mentioned it, it is a rather appetizing smell. <laughs> Thank you. 
I do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit... It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar. As though pulled from a corner of my memory. From a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Hey, it's not like I'm bothering her. Sorry for the ruckus, Professor. Please don't worry about it too much. Nothing to worry about here. Uh, I wish you would worry about it a little more. Hmm. This... This is my first time working with THE Gerald. The legend known across the ages as the Blade Breaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. <sighs> I am so happy to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean, very, 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 very long ago. Hello. Hey there. always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He'd better come back soon. Huh? Ah, mm. <laughs> oh, Professor! The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. Oh. Ignatz, oh, come on. what a true. Ah, I'd like... Hey! Right, right. Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? Oh, disappointing. Ha, 
up. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? Your character must be stronger than most. Professor. Hey, Professor. Can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best. But now, I can't even stand looking at them. <sighs> Good point, Professor. I think I need to see other meats right now. Then I can come back to fish when I'm good and ready. Good to see you, Professor. I was just on my way to... Perhaps. Hey! When news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumors suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Investigating Ramire Village, be on your guard. Hello. You know, Professor, the tournament fish and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion, why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? I have a request. Join me for some training some- I might like- The four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No. We need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now. I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. favor. Of the four or f It was four. Ah, you can't- If I take- As you were- That room- Want? Hey now. I have a favor to ask. Professor, you seem unwell. How are you faring? If you're not feeling well, I'd strongly recommend some rest. Let me get this. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramaya? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? If it were indeed a disease, why would it only affect the villagers and not infect the night stationed there? Professor, what have you got there? That's, my goodness, that is just what I've been looking for. I can offer nothing more than this. 
but I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt, Professor. might make it through last month in peace. But no, another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. village is an empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Mermire village that Alois found you. Professor, I heard about Remire village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor, even if they're not exactly based on anything. Hey, uh. okay. Really? Professor, how are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent, nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Boo. Huh? Mm. You do not look well. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option. Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. I could use your help. Uh. Oh, goodness. Is something the matter, Professor? You look a little pale. Please be careful. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hmm. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come. Stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the goddess protect all of you. I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. Need something?
Is this one? You're all set. See you again soon. of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. Hmm. Pardon me. to catch me some mighty fish just you wait and see i didn't catch a single fish last month but this month oh this month i'm casting my line just as the captain taught me all those years ago you're going with the captain to investigate ramire village soon aren't you it feels like so long ago that you two came here Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Hello, Professor. You want me to help? You just say the word, and I'll help. Don't worry about it. It's only natural for... I figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. That's, I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Come on, don't tease me. But what if it really was something like that? How could we hope to stop it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Professor. What is it? Uh, sorry, I've um I've got a cold. Um thanks. Sir. Well then, I should go. Good day. Well, oh, thanks. The Meyer Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Ramayar village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. Teach. What in the world is happening in Ramayar village? I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? That would be me if you weren't my teacher. Locked away in my room, reading, napping, never to be seen. You know, I never see Bernadetta outside of class. I wonder what it is that she does in her room all day. Oh, thank you. Meyer Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Um, sorry. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. I wonder if it wouldn't be it even hit the person who after that. She must be. Um, um. Well. Hey, uh, Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey, it worked out perfectly. Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor. This is great. <laughs> Oh, 
The knights go out from Garrig Mach to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Then again, I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. Hey, that's mine! Okay. Professor, Captain Geralt just told me. Vermeer Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Are you not feeling okay? You should get some rest. Hmm. If you must go to the village, make sure you're in good health before we depart. Really? Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mach, to Ramire Village. It was in Ramire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. It was in half a year. I appreciate this. I'd cheat? On you, baby? Never. Come on. You should know me better than that. You're the only one for me. I swear. Hey, if you don't believe me, well... Oh, I get it. If I'm not your type, do you want me to introduce you to some other guys who have crests? They're all nobles, just like me. What? That isn't why I'm... You... You're worse than I thought! I just want you to be happy. You know, get what you're after. I hate seeing a girl cry, especially one as beautiful as you. So, you know, maybe we... <sighs> so, Professor, do you enjoy spying on people? You look like you've got something to say, so say it. Hey, that was between me and her, not you. But, you know how it is. Most relationships, they end in heartbreak. Anyway, I don't know why she's so upset about me dating other girls. She didn't care before she found out, so why does she care now? <sighs> I really do hate seeing a girl cry. Believe whatever you want, but I'm honestly not sure if I can ever love again. Well, I figure the best way to mend a broken heart is to head out on the town. Why don't you join me? Who knows? Maybe you'll find love. I mean, I know I will. Calm down, it was only a joke. You've really got no sense of humor, you know that? Forever. 
That's a nice thing you have there, Prof. Why don't you trade it for this? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say. You brought it, Professor? Hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me? I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Seems the professor likes you better than me. Thanks. Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. I knew I could count on you. No. My cooking is so good, it's been called seductive. Should I show you what I can do, Professor? Hmm, right. I do so enjoy cutting up vegetables in preparation to cook. So I'll do that and leave you with the cleanup. liking that greatly. This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital.
Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. Singing's okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. This is nearly as delicious as mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. Food always fires me.
This is good for something.
I am. I work. You. Your. Professor! <sighs> Have a look at how we did! I won't forget all I've learned. Enlightening. Let's put this to the test. I am closing in on expertise. Uh -huh.
New pa-
am Ferdinand von Eyre. Stay focused. Should I have held back? Put me in there! I will prevail! I will get the victory. As you wish. Oh no. Let us away. That's my cue. Job easier.
my time. Ask me. Should I have held back? That is that. It's over. As expected. More success. Well done. Thank you. 
Stay focused. Stay focused. Each battle, a chance to grow. I will prevail. Oh no. Put me in there. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. As you wish. Any... That's my cue. As expected. Such bad. This will make.
How humiliating. was inevitable.
Thank you. Didn't give it your all. As expected. I still have... I'd like to take it easy. Plan is 
flawless. I have held back. This will make is that. battle a chance to grow. makes it past me.
Thank you. My thank you so much! Thanks so much! I have gratitude. What? I'm finding... Battle. It seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. Merely keeping an eye on you for the moment. Nothing to be concerned over. Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. I suppose that question does warrant a response, considering it may mean your life. The answer requires me to explain some of the complex internal politics of the Empire. Are you familiar with Volkard von Arendel? He is Lady Edelgard's uncle. You may also know him as Lord Arendel, the Empire's regent. Many years ago, he took Her Majesty and fled to the Kingdom of Fargus. Then after a time, he returned to seize power. Joining forces with Prime Minister Eyre and my father, Lord Arendel rendered Emperor Ionius IX politically impotent. Lady Edelgard is Ionius IX's daughter. I cannot begin to fathom the depth of her sadness at his betrayal. I see something of Lord Arendelle in you. When I look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath the surface. 
It is as if you are in constant dialogue with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. Does that description feel familiar to you at all? Because to me, you seem unpredictable. As though you could turn traitor at any moment. The more I learn about you, the less I like. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard, but now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. I hope you will prove me wrong, Professor. I would hate for this to come to bloodshed. Hey, Professor. The students seem to like you. <laughs> and you're not modest about it. I like that. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. I had my doubts, but they were right to make you a professor. I'd be suspicious of their true intentions, if I were you. But what's it matter? Seems like it turned out just fine for you. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. I was a merc before coming here, but... I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. I freeze up near royals and nobles. I was. My family had nothing when I was growing up. There were too many mouths to feed, so I left. Joined up with some mercs for the pay. The work suited me, but... I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employers. And that's what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> I'm joking. But the knights do make a good business partner. I don't believe in the Church of Seros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows, though? Maybe you and I will end up working together again, like at Deirdre. Us knights are a pretty tough crew. I'm guessing you'd run circles around us, though. I'm interested to see where your path leads you. I would be liking that greatly. Ah, uh, I... We will have great success. We will take no time at all. It is done. The battlefield has much to teach. I will master this. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>